Hi everyone, this is David from the Roth Audio. In this video, we're going to dive into some tips and tricks on how you can use Moog guitars in your score. Moog guitars offer some unique tones and textures that can be used as an amazing pad layer to support strings and choirs as well as stand out on their own. So let's start by taking a look at how we're going to be using this library as a supporting element. First things first, Moog Guitars comes with five distinct guitar tones, each boasting their own articulations. If you're after something smooth and pure, the harmonics are your best friend. But if you're looking for pads with a bit more personality, the pick sounds are the way to go. Now let's put this into action. I've got this short string passage here. It's sounding pretty good on its own, but it's missing a bit of that atmospheric body that pads are so good at providing. Let's load up the acoustic mood guitar, copy in the MIDI, and take a listen. But before we proceed, let's mold these guitars into a pad. When it comes to creating a pad, don't be shy on turning up the attack. A subtle shift in the curve and your pad is ready to take the stage. We've got the shape pretty much nailed down now, but it will need a few more tweaks to blend seamlessly with the strings. Next up, we're going to declutter the sound by eliminating the dust and tape layers. We want to preserve the string's natural air. Let's see how it all sounds together now. Now, let's remove the CC1 mod data that's controlling the cassette effect, and let's add some reverb to give it a more spacious feel. I often reach for the Black Hole by Eventide, but the Supermassive by Valhalla DSP is another great and free option. Next up, we're going to tweak with some light EQ so the Moog guitars can really blend well with the string passage. To fill out the sound, try giving the pads a bit more width than the strings. Let's take a listen now. That's sounding pretty good, but let's experiment a bit more. Let's switch gears and try a different guitar to see how another tone might work. The Telecaster has a rich tone and body that works really well as pads for film scores. Now that we've got that loaded, we can swiftly mirror the same settings we use for the acoustic guitar. Remember to add some width and clear out the extra pad and dust layers. That's sounding really nice, even just by itself. Let's take a listen with the strings now. I think that's sounding pretty smooth. 
the Moog guitar pads are effectively complementing the strings and significantly amplifying the emotional resonance. One final tip, let's try doubling the top line up an octave with our Moog guitar pad. It can really add an extra layer of depth to your string line. And there you have it, a quick guide on how to use Moog guitars to enhance your music production. Keep exploring and happy creating.